another question about free will, Dr. Craig. Is free will possible if God knows all our thoughts and actions beforehand? I, I think it certainly is. Some people have adopted a viewpoint called theological fatalism, which says that if God foreknows what you're going to do, then you are fated to do it, and therefore everything happens necessarily. Um, this, however, I think commits an elementary logical fallacy. It reasons as follows. Necessarily, if God foreknows that I will do X, then I will do X. Premise two, God foreknows that I will do X. Three, therefore, necessarily, I will do X. So that, that's how the argument for fatalism goes. Necessarily, if God foreknows that I will do X, then I will do X. Two, God foreknows that I will do X. Three, therefore, necessarily, I will do X. That commits a fallacy in modal logic. It does not follow from those two premises that you will necessarily do X. All that follows from the two premises is that you will do X, but not that you will necessarily do it. You could refrain. And if you were to refrain, then God's foreknowledge would have been different. So by acting one way or the other, I have the ability to act in such a way that God's foreknowledge would have been different than it is in fact. And that's sufficient for freedom. Uh, there's, there's nothing about God's merely knowing about something in advance that takes away my freedom to do otherwise. Okay, I'll have to go home and think about that for a minute. <laughs> John? By the way, I, I, I actually spent seven years working full-time on this project, uh, doing a philosophical analysis of divine omniscience, and have published a number of books in this area. So if anyone is interested, take a look at my little book called The Only Wise God. And this is a discussion of divine foreknowledge and human freedom. And lest anybody here tonight think this is something that only harebrained philosophers are interested in, have you never heard of open theism? Open theism is a movement within evangelical theology which thinks that God's knowing about the future is incompatible with human freedom. And so in the name of human freedom, it denies divine foreknowledge, despite the fact that the Bible teaches it. So these people think that God does not know the future free acts of people, that he gambles on the future, that he often makes mistakes and goes wrong, uh, and that um, he has to revise his plans because he, he didn't see what was coming. And this is an issue which is splitting the evangelical church today. Uh, so this is hugely significant uh, theologically and therefore not just a matter of some philosophical speculation. This has real practical consequences in the church and in your view of divine providence and, uh, and God's infallibility.